Hey, what's up, everyone? This is Peter Jennings, and I go by CSU Ram 88 across the daily fantasy industry. And I'm stoked to be back here at Fantasy Labs doing a lineup review of week 11. And stoked might be a strong word. Uh, not my best week, but uh, happy to see some of my friends do really well. I'm uh, going to review my lineups for the three man, the Thunderdome, as well as the Mega Q on DraftKings. So, taking a look at the three man. Fortunate to take it down. One of the only things I won this week. Uh, played a team that I played in a lot of different places and uh, kind of a blend of cash game slash leagues team. Um, ran an onslaught here of New England with Brady, Cooks, Gronk, Burkhead. And uh, got a really good game out of Cooks, obviously, and just missed with Burkhead and Gronk. Game flow kind of hurt Gronk a lot, and Burkhead... Uh, had an early almost fumble that uh, gave way to a lot of Lewis carries. So Gronk and Burke had bricked, but Cooks obviously had that huge game. Had a great matchup there against Oakland. Ran Kareem Hunt and Chris Thompson as the running backs. Thompson, really sad, uh, broke his leg on a gruesome play. Could have had a huge game, but obviously got hurt. Kareem Hunt, who was the chalk, not a good game uh, in Kansas City as they surprisingly lost to the Giants. Ran Jamison Crowder and Macklin as the other receivers. Was high on Crowder, especially on DraftKings. Ended up reaching value, but uh, not a great play overall. Uh, certainly a good play. Uh, can't complain about 14.6 points, given his price. But uh, you're hoping for a little bit more out of Crowder, or maybe a touchdown or getting over 100 yards uh, to really crush value. Uh, certainly still a solid game. And then Macklin, I thought, had a really good matchup uh, against Green Bay, and just game flow kind of worked against him. Bales ran a similar team, but with Melvin Gordon and Crabtree, as well as Bruce Ellington, who I also ran in cash. Everything else was uh, very similar. Gordon could have had a really big game, but the game got out of hand early. Crabtree, uh, decent game, but nothing spectacular. Uh, both Crabtree and Amari Cooper busted, which was obviously crushing for me. And uh, Bruce Ellington was a really nice play at the stone minimum. Uh, did exceed value, but similar to Jamison Crowder. It was a solid game, but not a great game. Levitan also ran Brady, uh, put in Stefan Diggs, who I thought was an interesting play, and then also had Jarvis Landry kind of loaded up on those receivers early. Burkhead, Hunt were the running backs with the Chiefs defense. Just some bricks across the board. I really like the Chiefs defense with the win there. I thought that was sharp, especially with the left tackle out for the Giants, but things just didn't come to fruition for Levitan. So took that down, was one of the few bright spots on the week. Taking a look at the Thunderdome, uh, ran a Drew Brees stack here with Michael Thomas, Ted Ginn, and Kamara. Obviously got there with Kamara, but missed out with Vernon Davis and Burkhead. Uh, you know, kind of a full game stack here, uh, mixing in Burkhead and the Chargers defense. And frustrating not to have a higher score here with the Chargers defense who went off. But across the board, the, the Chargers D went ham, the Ravens D went ham, and the Jaguars D went ham. So wasn't a big differentiator having some of those elite defenses. And then with the Brady stack here, a uh, similar team to what I showed you before, but went with Doug Martin, uh, who ended up busting, and uh, had Crabtree and Cooper, who both didn't come out with huge games, and then didn't have a solid defense. So, brick overall on the Thunderdome. want to review Papa Gates, who took it down with the Cousins team. Cousins, Jordan Howard, LaShawn McCoy. So, a lot of leverage here with both those running backs. Papa Gates and Chipotle have been amazing at that all year. Basically figuring out who has a lot of equity uh, that's going to be contrarian. And a lot of that is going off guys who busted in previous weeks where they were the chalk. Uh, Jamison Crowder, Hopkins, Thomas, Vernon Davis, and Mixon. Mixon and Vernon Davis were busts and not really huge performances for many of these guys outside of McCoy. But the Ravens D brought him home. And then Kirk Cousins was uh, a high-scoring quarterback. Uh, out of the chalk quarterbacks was the highest-scoring quarterback on the week. Taking a look at the Mega Q, uh, I did not qualify. I had some three average teams. Went with a Fitzpatrick team that looked really good initially. Uh, didn't really get a lot of production late. Uh, Cohen was a 1% own play. Uh, had intuition and really thought he could uh, turn out to be a really nice play there for the Bears. Um, obviously, Jordan Howard went off, uh, but had some inf read, read information that he might be playing more after not being as involved last week. Thought his price tag uh, with Burke had opened up a lot. And that's why I needed to fit in these guys here with Mike Evans, Deshaun Jackson, and Landry. And really looked like it was going to be a, a big day, but uh, a slow second half from this Tampa Bay-Miami game hurt this team. 
Similar team as what I had in the uh, in the Thunderdome and some other spots. Just mixed in Bruce Ellington as well as the Browns defense. Uh, pretty happy with these teams. I thought this was a good game stack here. Same thing with Tom Brady in this spot. Had to pivot around a couple plays uh, with the uh, kind of bad start that I had with Doug Martin. But overall, pretty happy with the game stacks that I had here. Wanted to review Bales, who did get in. Really happy to see Bales qualify for the championship. I'll be down in Miami. We'll be cheering Bales on. And uh, couldn't be happier that he got in with Brady, Hunt, McCoy, who was a really nice leverage play. Keenan Allen, who just went absolutely ham. Someone I was initially on and then ended up getting off. We talked about him on the Fantasy Flex. Uh, bummer that I didn't have more Keenan Allen, but happy that Bales did play him. Really good matchup and uh, just obviously a huge game for Keenan Allen. Crowder, Ellington, Cook, and Sanders. So really uh, not that great of a team in terms of production, but Keenan Allen got him there with the Chargers defense. So congrats to Bales. Congrats to everyone that uh, qualified for the championship as well as had good weeks in eleven. Want to give a shout out to Drew Dinkmeyer, who won a ton of money over on FD. Just a huge weekend, took down the Sunday Million, as well as the Bomb. Always happy to see friends and uh, people who contribute a lot to the industry do well. So, hope week 11 went well for you guys. Uh, not my best week, but on to week 12. And as always, looking to see more Fantasy Lab subscribers at the top of the leaderboard.